Hey everyone and welcome back to Carmona Homeschool of Three. I'm sorry it's been so long since I've posted a video here. Things have just been crazy in life. Um, but today I thought I would go ahead and share some of my favorite products for homeschooling that I find on Amazon. Now as I was, as I was collecting all of these I realized they're kind of more on like the fun side of homeschooling. So you're not going to find a lot of curriculum, a lot of reading books here or anything like that. Um, so this is more the stuff I like to use with both of my girls. So it's going to be a range from preschool to second, third grade. So yeah, preschool to third grade um, of the things that I use with my girls and plan on continuing to use with my second grader who's going into third grade. Um, so I'm not going to make a super long intro, but if you're new here, don't forget to subscribe. I would love to have you here and um, let's get into the products. Okay, so in no particular order, I am going to start with these. These are magnetic um, building tiles. Now, they're like magnet tiles, except for um, they're not Magnetal brand. They still are pretty pricey. Um, this is a 158 piece set. Um, my girls absolutely love these things. It's a fun little um, activity to do while we're doing like... Um, uh, reading time where I'm sitting down and reading them a book. Um, it's a fun little activity to keep them quiet and listening to the story. They even pull these out on non-school days or non-school time and sit down and play with them and build. Um, my toddler, she, well three-year-old now, she um, she has a hard time like actually building structures but she likes to stack them all together and stuff like that so she even enjoys playing with them as well. Um, and we got these around two and a half, so it does say three plus, but she was using them when she was about two and a half years old and stacking them together and she loves them. So um, I will make sure to link everything down below in the description separately. I also have an Amazon store. If you want to just go ahead and click the Amazon store, I have a homeschooling page where you'll see everything that I've added to the store that we use for homeschooling. Um, so that's an easy way to do that. Otherwise, you have to click through each link um, in the description box. But I will do both in case you want to directly get to one product. So the next thing I'm going to share are these match it um, little puzzle pieces. They're not really like actual puzzles, but they're little rectangulars, little rectangular um, pieces that are like puzzle pieces. I'm sure you've seen these before. So you just connect the two together um, and they have all kinds. I'm sorry guys, it's garbage day. There's a garbage truck going by. Um, so if you hear that, that's what you're hearing. Um, so there are all kinds of these um, match it ones. I also have first words. So this is counting, as I'm sure you saw, but I didn't say that. Um, this is counting and this is um, first words. So this one's really old. I've had this one since Jocelyn was little. We did this with her and then I recently bought this one for Ariella um, and I love them. You can find them on Amazon. They're really fun. The um, Ariella loves these. Jocelyn loves these. They're fun little activities. You could even use these for uh, reading time or quiet time. Um, they're, they're just fun little puzzle pieces. Okay, so this next one is a game, but I absolutely love this brand. It is called Peaceable Kingdom, and if you've never heard of these um, board games before, they are cooperative games. So what that means is that it's not a board game where you have to, um, like a competition. It's not a competition between the players. You have to figure out how to work together to win the game, and that is one thing I absolutely love because I feel like when we're playing board games or we're doing sports with our kids we're, we're teaching our children a lot about competing against one one another but I don't think we spend enough time trying to get our kids to work together so I really love these games the the brand actually makes all kinds but we love this hoot owl hoot this one is really cute and the design of them is just so beautiful um, it's like watercolor and just really vibrant beautiful colors um, so this is what the board game on the back looks like 
Um, that's what the board game looks like. So you line up your little owls and you take turns picking colored cards and you try to get them into the nest together. And it's a really cute game. Like I said, they make all different kinds. There's um, one called Counter Chickens that I'm wanting to get the girls for next year. But these are really fun games and they're all focused on getting your children or even you to work together to win the game together. So that's what I love about these and I highly recommend these games. So the next thing I'm going to share is this scissor skills activity book that I recently bought for um, my toddler. She absolutely loves these. I was really worried about giving her scissors and starting her, um, you know, learning how to cut because I was afraid that she was going to like try to find the scissors on her own time and, you know, start cutting things up or cutting her hair because she is that strong-willed child that likes to do things on her own, you know? And so I was really afraid of introducing her to scissors. But I found this um, scissor skills activity pack and it came with these little plastic scissors, which I really, really love. Let me see if I can take them out. Okay, so as you can see, they're just plastic scissors. I hope you can see they're just plastic scissors. Like they're not gonna get cut. They're the little safety scissors, but they are sharp enough to cut through these pages that they give you. And they're fun little things. So you can even keep them once um, your child is done for them to kind of puzzle them back together. Although they usually do get a little, um, you know, chopped up. Um, but there's like snowman and um, just things for them to cut along the lines. Um, Ariella did a train one on Already. I haven't got her to doing circles yet, just, um, you know, sh straight lines across um, because I don't think she's ready to, to do circles yet. She even has a hard time doing other shapes like, like triangles that still have straight um, lines. So just all kinds of things, but just a fun little um, activity and this keeps her busy while I'm doing other things with Jocelyn as well. Um, and she's actually getting pretty good at it. So this is definitely something I would recommend if you have a two and a half year old, three year old, what is the age range on this? This says four plus, but I definitely don't think they need to be for these scissors. They're not gonna hurt themselves. Um, and I do make sure to take this away and like put it up. That way she can't just come in the schoolroom and find it and start just cutting um, things, even though they're not gonna cut like a bunch of, you know, important stuff. but. I just have to be extra careful with Ariella. So um, anyway, it does say four plus, like I said, but I started this with her when she was two and a half, maybe a little, a little older than two and a half, um, almost three, and she really enjoys it. So I definitely recommend this little set, and they do come together, and it's really cheap. I want to say it's only like five bucks or something. Um, so yeah, definitely a good find. Okay, so this next one is really fun, especially if you're learning about states with your kids. This is something um, I like to do with Jocelyn, who is eight. We actually started this back when she was like six, but we just do it occasionally. We are not even completely going through the states yet, so this will be really handy for her when we really start digging into the states. Um, so I definitely love this. It's a huge uh, puzzle on the floor. It says three feet by two feet. It's definitely a fun thing to do together. I'll sit down and do this with her. My toddler loves to help, but of course, you know, it's such a complicated, um, not super complicated, but for a three-year-old to get these little pieces in there together. But this is a really fun um, puzzle. It's also by Melissa and Doug. I love Melissa and Doug stuff. Um, and also fairly inexpensive, so definitely recommend this as well. Okay, while we're on Melissa and Doug stuff, I think this is my last thing. I've shared this before. I think I shared this like last year. I absolutely love this little clock. So this definitely helps my oldest to um, help her with telling time. Sorry guys, I've got the baby monitor right here and it just went dark. I need to, to fix that. Little guy's taking a nap. All right, so, um, what was I saying? So yes, we use this with my oldest for telling time, which is fun because it's an interactive way to, um, you know, get her to tell the time. It's got the, the minutes, and, and we, as you can see, we are missing a little piece here because um, my toddler loves to play with this. Ariella, she loves to play with it. But even if it's missing a piece, it's got the numbers here, so you can still see um, what number should be here. And as I shared before, 
my, like I said, Ariella really loves this. She's three years old, but she started playing with this when she was like two. She takes the shapes out and um, matches them back together. So I honestly think if you have um, anywhere from preschool to third grade, fourth grade, as long as you're still working on time, this is definitely something fun to have around because it has a dual purpose. So learning about time, but also um, shape sorting for little ones. Um, so definitely fun as well as counting because you can lay these out and have them count in order. The one that's on Amazon though is this is an older version and so Amazon sells the newer version but the only difference is is the clock is a different color. It's not blue. The yellow here is like um, just it looks like wood. Um, so and then I think the blue is red. But definitely the same shapes, the same number, everything. It's just a different color. They just didn't paint it yellow. So um, yeah, love this thing and my kids love it. So this next item is something that I bought when Jocelyn was in kindergarten and we loved it, but we haven't used it a lot, but I definitely want to start using it. It is a science kit. So this one is the um, Going Green. It's the Magic School Bus. Now this brand is called, um, what is it, the Learning, where did it go? Oh, Young, the Young Scientist Club and they make all different kinds of kits. So what these are are science experiments in a box and it gives you everything you need to complete the science experiment. So it gives you the little pamphlet and it goes through and, explain the, and explains the science experiments and then it gives you everything you need in the box to complete the science experiment. We've only done like two of them, but I really love this and I would really like to get the other ones too. This one is focusing on recycling and the weather cycle and stuff like that. Um, there are like human body ones and I think it's really fun because um, the Magic School Bus is a really, you know, educational show and I loved the Magic School Bus growing up. Um, so I'll make sure to link this down below. I'm going to link a couple more too because I want to get the human body one and I think that would be such a fun one. Um, to do and it's an easy way to do science um, because I know sometimes it can be really hard to pull a science unit together and come up with science experiments and things like that um, so this makes it easy for you by having all of the things that you need within the box and this one the going green one is only $12.99 for sale on Amazon right now it's on sale I meant um, I think it's originally like $15 so it's like $2 off right now but hey save your $2. While we're on science um, I want to talk about this learning resources. I love the brand learning resources. Um, this is a volcano. Now they give you stuff to do the volcano one time. It's like a kind of looks like a bath bomb and they've got these what they call beaker creatures. I think it's like a way for you to collect them all. Um, but it also gives you a um, instruction manual and it gives you so many different ways to make a volcano. Now obviously this isn't going to be like an erupting volcano. It's more of like a fizzy volcano as you can see on the cover here. It's a fizzy volcano and it runs down. Now depending on what color you get, this one's red but we got green. That looked really cool. The girls really loved this though and um, I mean the bath bomb is kind of like a surprise egg type thing because you wait for it to fizz and then you get the little creature and you can continue buying the different kinds of like bomb things um, for the volcano and, or like I said the um, instructions come with um, ways to create the volcano it's basically like you know there are some like vinegar and baking soda and stuff like that so things that you would have on hand to continue and be able to use it um and like i said it's not going to be an exploding volcano but it's definitely a fun thing especially if you're working on volcanoes with your kids it's a fun little way to get them this thing actually does nothing but um it's really cool so you put your ingredients in there and then it'll start fizzing and it's it's just a fun way for your kid to study um, volcanoes. Okay, another le learning. Okay, another learning resources um, product are these math cubes. I absolutely love these for my daughter. She loves them too. Um, we haven't been using them so much because the section of our math book that we were using them for is over. But we were using them for her to learn about tens and ones and. Um, things like that. So these are just fun little connector cubes. I remember using these when I was in school. Um, 
So yeah, you get a hundred cubes and it's super inexpensive. I don't know, like $10, maybe 12, something like that. And they're just fun little ways, um, fun little things to use for math to make it more hands-on. Um, I find my daughter is a very hands-on child. She's a very hands-on learner. Um, so if I have little manipulatives and things like that, it makes the process go a little bit smoother in learning math specifically. Okay, so this next one might not be up everybody's alley because I know there are parents who get annoyed when their kids play with very loud musical things. But I recently got this little backpack full of musical instruments off Amazon and I love it. Now, I don't let my kids play with this all day long. This is a circle time or morning time um, activity only. So when we sit down and we do morning reading where I sit down and read them a book, we also sit down and sing songs. Um, stuff like you would find more like in a preschool setting where you have circle time and you read stories and sing songs and, and do um, dancing and stuff like that. But my girls love it, even Jocelyn loves it, and she's gonna be in third grade next year. Well, this year, in a few months here. And so basically I tell them they can pick one instrument um, for the day and they um, get to use that for circle time. Um, so they really love it. It comes with all kinds of musical instruments. They're very loud, so it's gonna get loud here. I'm not gonna shake them, but getting them out of the bag, there are a lot of bells and shakers. Um, so this thing I would say is the noisiest. It's one of these little bell shaky things. And then there are um, some maracas, and then there are even little egg shakers, and there's a tambourine. There's one of these wooden things where you rub the stick on this. Um, there's little, I don't know what these things are called, little, I can't remember what they're called. Anyway, there's a set of these. So there's all just kind of fun little um, instruments, but I think it's a fun way to do um, music, especially for if you have younger ones, like Ariella absolutely enjoys this. Um, and I love that it comes in a little backpack. Just keep it all together, um, but it's super cute. Okay, this next one isn't super fun, but it's a pencil sharpener that I absolutely love. I feel like a lot of pencil sharpeners that I find on Amazon that are um, more inexpensive are run run on batteries, and I'm I just don't want to do that. I would rather just plug it in, have it sitting on my desk, and I really love this little pencil sharpener here that I got. Um, it's a cute little design, like a little sleek design, and it works really good. It's got a um, setting here, so you can do three different. Um, you can do three different point settings. All right, sorry about that, you guys. I got cut off there. But I was talking about this pencil sharpener, and I love it. Like I said, it's got suctioning pieces on the bottom, which I really like because when my kids are putting the pencil in the sharpener, it doesn't like scoot around, scoot back. They don't have to like hold it down. Um, so that's really nice. And like I said, I really like that it's got a plug, so I don't have to uh, constantly be buying batteries for my pencil sharpener. I think that's just really annoying. But anyway, this is a nice pencil sharpener and it's fairly inexpensive for a nice desk um, pencil sharpener. All right, so I'm down to my last item or items. I have shared these before, but I honestly really, really love them. Um, now, I've got two for different grade levels. This is grades three to five and this is grades um, pre-K to K. So these are seasonal activity books. If you've not seen me explain what they are before, they're basically a bunch of fun little printable activities for months or holidays. Um, so you have a bunch of Halloween activities and um, Thanksgiving activities, winter activities, um, Christmas activities, Martin Luther King, Valentine's Day, um, Easter, just fun little things. It also kind of gives you like at home activities for every month. So here's June, July, so it gives you week one, week two, week three, week four. So let me just read week one of um, June. So it, there are three different little um, activities here and it says read a book together, ask your child to retell the story. Then two, help your child find objects around the house and yard that begin with the same sound as ran. And then activity three, play do what I do with your child, act out an action, washing dishes, brushing teeth, etc., and ask your child to identify the action. Then have your child act out an action for you to name. So just fun little activities as well that aren't like included in the book but give you some ideas for your kids. 
So it's basically just fun little printables. Um, and you could obviously just tear these out, but I do like to just go ahead and make a copy. That way I can use them for all three of my kids and I don't have to keep buying them. Um, now grades three to five does have more like writing activities in it, but it's still about the same things, um, the same holidays and um, stuff like that. So like I said though, there are like crossword puzzles, just a little bit more age appropriate for three to five instead of just a bunch of little like coloring pages and cut and paste and things like that. Um, so I think they're really age appropriate, they're fun. Um, if you, like I bought one for each of my um, kids, you can tear out, um, you have an activity for both grade levels in each thing. So they each have the same holidays and then you can just give them each their grade level appropriate worksheet, which I find really fun, especially because I know a lot of us do that kind of stuff on Pinterest and you have to go searching and printing out um, all kinds of activities for holidays and stuff like that to make it fun. Um, but this makes it easy for you and super simple. So um, that is it. I think that are all that is all my products that I um, am loving right now and I honestly think that I'm gonna make this into something that I do quite often maybe I don't know maybe like every four to six months because honestly I do buy a lot of our homeschooling stuff from Amazon because it's the easiest way especially right now obviously when we're not all running out to the stores and going curriculum shopping and stuff like that um, I did share our second grade curriculum in my last video. Um, a lot of that can be bought on Amazon if you're looking for curriculum options. I am going to be sharing our third grade curriculum picks here soon. I'm just waiting on a few more textbooks to show up and then I'm going to be doing that, which I'm really excited about. Um, yeah, so lots of exciting stuff coming up. And thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for subscribing and watching my videos. I appreciate your support so much. I hope you are finding these videos helpful. And yeah, so I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye. How would be a